This again is only the cover. This is page one. This, this particular document was several pages long. This is a report of Hood's wounding at Gettysburg by his doctor, Dr. John T. Darby. It talks about what Hood was doing, where he was, what happened, the shrapnel hit the arm, and then he goes into a bunch of medical stuff that even in 1864 uh, biology was a little over my head. He talks about where the shrapnel entered, what tendons, what muscles, what nerves were damaged, way it exited. They carried Hood off. They took him here. They did this. They did that. It was an itemized. It's a doctor's report written by a doctor in Dr. E's. And then I found the Chickamauga report. This one is 3 thousand words long and I had a severe headache at the end of a week or two after I had to figure out every one of those words. I actually took this up to the National Museum of, Med of Civil War Medicine in Frederick, Maryland and spent an afternoon with them and they helped me with it. This not only is a report of his wounding at Chickamauga, it talks about who decided to amputate his leg, what kind of saw was used. It goes into minute detail and then there is a daily report every day from the day that he was wounded and the amputation occurred every single day. It's how he's doing, how the wound is doing, what he's eating, how his appetite is, bodily functions or lack thereof, all kinds of stuff. It goes into incredible detail day after day after day. Hood almost dies around uh, October the 8th. He actually wrote there, I don't think he's going to survive, but he did. It goes all the way through Hood's removal from uh, the farmhouse in North Georgia where he had been kept. They transported him to the railroad, took him to Atlanta, stayed in Atlanta for a day or two. Train went to Augusta, then Wilmington, North Carolina, then Richmond, every day, every day how he's doing. 